Alrighty, guys. So today we're gonna go ahead and install this brake uh, controller on the truck. The person that had a truck before me already had a brake controller installed, but um, they removed it whenever whenever they sold the truck. So let's see. All right, so here is where I'm going to go ahead and get started. It looks like the other brake controller used to be installed in, in this little box. i got to go ahead and remove this so that I can get to the control panel and also find some ground um, to this kit. Uh, I got it off eBay, and it came with this harness which will make the installation easier so let's see all right so the only place that this actually fits is this piece right here um fortunately now i can't ground where i wanted to i have to find a Closer source to ground. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off this screw right there, um, so I can start taking off this panel and trying to run all the cable to this little box right there. You can see the the holes where the screws used to be. Yeah. Wow. All right, so as I said a little while ago, um, <clears throat> somebody already had it installed. So whenever they took it off, they had to make that hole back there and to just cover it since it's black. They just put some electrical tape, which is probably something that I'm going to have to do too. So that's a hole right there. I'm not going to take off all the tape. So I can just run this um, connector. So I'm going to try to attach that first, just so that I can figure it out how I'm going to set this up. It looks like this connector is a little bit bigger than the one that they put. I'm just going to jiggle it in there. There we go. Alrighty, so I got a few more materials because I'm not going to be able to use the bracket if I want it to look very, uh, I guess, original. Or I might have to move the bracket to the back. I don't know. I'm still thinking about how I'm going to do that. But first of all, I think it would be a great idea to get it plugged in and seeing if it turns on, making sure that you know, where I'm going to get ground, it's going to be a good source. Let's see. We're just routing the cable. You got to be a little precise. Because if not, it won't reach. So after some thought, I think I'm going to go ahead and disconnect it from down here where I made the first connection. So that I can route it. Through all this rat's nest wiring. See, instead of having to deal with these two wires, I'm just going to deal with this one. <clears throat> I just wish I didn't have big hands at this time.
so this seems to be working a little bit faster, a little bit better. Let's see, this is going to get connected down here. Sorry, I can't show you right now, but I'll do a close up. Alright. So, there you go. So, this cable that was just there by itself, that's where it goes. Then I routed it up and over. It's this one right here. It goes around behind the steering column and it gets over here. I think that gives me just enough room to reach it right where I want it. All right, I guess so. Let me do this shot. I'll get back to you guys. Ground sewers right there. So I went ahead and connected the, the controller. I want to go ahead and start it. I was reading the instructions, and it says that if it blinks or if it stays off, I guess it's not going to help. Uh, if it blinks or, or if it stays off, it's because you don't have a trailer connected. So I don't have a trailer right here with me. But <clears throat> the sooner I get this done, the sooner I can go and try it out with my friend's trailer. Okay, let's see. Let's see if it blinks. Well, I can tell you that it works because I have a Viper. Uh, remote start. When I go ahead and turn it on, and if I press the brake, it turns off my truck. So when I move this, it thinks that I press the brake. So I guess that's. That's good. I, I will have to try it with my friend's trailer. And of course, looked at the components inside the brake control module uh, to make sure that I, anywhere in that plastic casing that I could drill without hitting any of the components, um, it looks like it's pretty secure. It ain't going anywhere. All right, so there it is. Everything's back where it needs to go. Like I said, I guess the only way that I can try it right now is if I turn it on with a remote. See if I come. I press that. It turns off. Just the same way. <clears throat> if I come. And I press my brake. So there it is. Um, it was a Reese tow power pod brake controller, pre-wired, one to two axles. So it's great for for an RV. It has two axles. So I can't wait to try it out, guys.